face the future when there is nowhere left to run. And you've got to learn just how to survive. You've got to learn how to keep your dream alive. Does a dream become a nightmare? When do we learn to live with fear? When we cry out for some salvation? Why is it no one seems to hear? You got to learn. It's up to you. That the dream just might come true I'll bet I know who you are You're Goldstein's replacement <laughs> I'm Terry Corrigan, biology Andy Norris, music What's the gun for? Where have you been teaching lately? Lately, nowhere it figures. Take a look at my face. I've been long to the future. The world belongs to me. Let me guide you in. Take a look at my face. Is that really necessary? It is if you want to survive. Do you know any moves? Moves? What do you mean moves? Jiu-jitsu, boxing, karate. <laughs> no. I swing a nasty baton. That's good. Hey! Hey, hey, uh, Garth, that kid in the brown shirt has a straight visit. It's too late now. Oh, my baby. Did you see that? If you want to survive around here, you have got to learn to look the other way. Well, they were passing a straight razor. No shit. Who? Which one? Where? Hmm? Oh, come on. <laughs> Everyone around here carries something, so... One razor, more or less, isn't going to make a damn bit of difference. Please listen to what I have to say. Surveillance is the name of the game around here, Mr. Norris. You wouldn't believe the things they do to this building whenever we aren't watching. They paint on the walls, they piss in the corridors, they steal anything that isn't bolted down. Never leave your classroom unlocked, Mr. Norris, not even for a minute. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, now about my class... There, there. Two of them smoking marijuana. Security? Yes. Two dope smokers and one West. On my way. Where was I? My classes. You have four classes a day. Mr. Goldstein's files are available if you need background and anything. Okay. Thank you, sir. You'll be assigned to corridor and washroom patrol in your free hours. Isn't that what the security guards are for? They're already using teacher salaries, Mr. Norris. We're spread thin at both ends. Yeah, well, I understand, sir, but I mean, I'd like to believe that I'm here to teach. I need those free periods to do my work. You're not in Nebraska anymore, Mr. Norris. Here at Lincoln High, the teaching is something you do in spite of everything else. Do you understand? No, 
Sure. You will. Before long. <laughs> Everybody, settle down. Would you sit down, please? More? Keep your, keep your, keep Hi. Hi. I'm Deneen. I'm Mr. Norris. Hi. I just thought that I should tell you that those guys don't belong in here. You mean they're not in this class? No. It's keeps in class by themselves. Are you in this class? No. You want to get out then, please? No. <laughs> I'd give him a week. Uh, my name is Mr. Norris. I'm taking over for Mr. Goldstein. And when I call your name, please answer here. Um, uh, if I'm not here, uh, do I answer not here? <laughs> Abrams? Not here. <laughs> Aladopoulos? Oh, no, 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 not here. What is your name, please? Dude, no. Well, now, he doesn't hit so good. Well, you jokes don't belong here. You shut your hole, you little... Well, you don't scare me, freako. Pull it, pull it. Who's your name, since you seem to be in charge of this group? My name is Ichbein Stegman. Peter. Okay, you're okay. The others have a guest belonging somewhere else. They stay with me. Me, 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 just leaving. Not here. Bye bye. We'll see you later, huh? Are you supposed to be in here? What's your name? Elizabeth Taylor. Face the music, teacher, teacher. Wait a minute. You're in this class. Sit down. Sit on this. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with matter? Boy, I sure made a big hit with them, huh? Let's get to know each other. Uh, tell me your names and the instruments. Burley. Clarinet. Michelle Flute. Summer's man, tuba. If you don't know that's a trumpet, we're all in big trouble. <laughs> trumpet? Man, they've been lying to me all these years. Deneen, I know. Clarinet, bassoon, and oboe. And I orchestrate. Anything you don't do? Yeah, she don't put out. <laughs> but she conducts a class. Did you conduct this class? Shit, we learned more from her than we ever did from old Bad Breath Goldstein. <laughs> Okay, I'll get the rest of your names later. Uh, right now, let's hear how you sound together. What's the music on your stands? <laughs> Somebody got a, another copy of the score? We don't need conducting. We've been practicing by ourselves. Go ahead. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Come down, children. We were making 4000 a week until Juju got into our playpen. And now we're down to two. 
That's kind of pathetic. You fix it! Oh, yeah, well, we better fix it. Otherwise, Stegman's gonna find himself some bigger, better boys. Hey, this stuff will get you high and fly without no wings. You're talking to the medicine man. This is it right here. Oh, Lester. Got something in there for us, Lester? Say, say, what's this? Deal and fee. Take it. Nothing, man. What the I think I was born yesterday. Hey, man, what's going on here? Get out! Get out! We're the only that sell shit in this school. You just told me to go up there, man. I just told them that I'm... Ah! Look, you tell Juju if he wants to play, he can meet us after school. Got that? Negro. What do you think of our dynamite faculty? See that one over there on the phone? That's the Virgin Queen. <laughs> now, who the hell is that guy? He looks like Charles Manson. Yeah, maybe he busted loose. Huh? Let me ask you something. What happened to the teacher I replaced? Goldstein. They say he had an accident. They say he fell down the stairs. Uh, Morgenthau says that he will be back. Yeah, but old teachers... Like old athletes, they never come back. At least not here. Yeah, uh, let me ask you something. Yeah, how are your classes going? Are you, uh, have you discovered any hidden pools of genius there? I don't know about that. Uh, there are some who like music, you know, who want to play it well. You're way ahead of me then. You know, there isn't one of my little bastards, not one of them that shows the slightest interest in biology. Except for the workings of the reproductive systems. Hey, I thought this was supposed to be a protected lot. I can't be everywhere. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. You could have scared me to death. Oh, dear. What is that? What are you doing? Oh, I just bought this. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's terrific. It's wonderful. But you're a little bit early. The baby's not due for six and a half months. Yeah, but I don't want to save everything for the last minute. How was your day? Mm, oh, God. Don't ask. Was that bad? Yeah, it was that bad. We got a principal who can't wait to get to his board position. Faculty who hate their jobs. Bunch of security guards running all over the place, kids running all over them. 
You know, it's cost me forty dollars already to get some graffiti off the car. Really? Yeah. Oh, honey. That's the good news. Well, it's always that way when you start something new, but you'll get used to it. Hey, what did the doctor say? I'm in my seventy-third day, and everything's perfect. You know what day it happened? Oh, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Messes around with my man Leroy. I'm gonna cut you, white meat. Cut this! Come on back, you motherfucker! Come on back, you Stealing that book, Patsy. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking great. <laughs> it's a pretty good Chinese restaurant. We could have it for breakfast tomorrow, you know. We can have it for lunch. Then I might not have to cook it. Andy, come on. Let's go in the Wait, house. wait a minute. I just want to see what the hell Andy. they want. Do you guys want some? Andy! Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Mike, what is that? I don't know, it's uh, stage blood or something. Well, what kind of stupid idiots would do that? I don't know, come on, come on, let's just go inside. God. What do you think they were? I don't know, they were kids from the school, I guess, fooling around. Look at that, it's all over me. It's ridiculous. Tino this year's poster boy? Come on. Ooh, ooh. 
Any guns do you know, Mr. Stegman? Oh, hey, Vinny. How you doing? What can we do for you, Vinny? Yeah, I'd like to work for you guys. How old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. Well, uh, we'll get back to you. We'll let you know. Sure. Don't be a stranger, Vinny. Yeah. Next! Sally, she wants some toot. If you'll supply, she'll hook for us. Cocor, huh? <laughs> A drugstore, um. I'm sure we have something this young lady can sample. But of course. <laughs> Generosity is our middle name. We only use the very best. Why don't you make her take your clothes off? <laughs> Take your clothes off. You really want me to take me? Take your clothes off! Suburbanite. So, Sally, what do you do for a living? What do you think? Well, do I get the job? Yeah, well, first you have to go through tryouts. Fallon? Yeah? You want to check out this merchandise? I want to watch. Next! OK, what I want to do is put together a junior symphony made up of students from the two senior classes. Any volunteers? Okay. I guess nobody wants to get out of some of their classes for rehearsals. Oh, we well. just have to make them up anyway. Go on to a city symphony competition? Sure. Win trophies? I'm not going to stay late after school. Money? <laughs> You're all going to have to take a test on sight reading, and I want to hear you all take a shot at playing a piece cold. So open your music. Let's see what we got. This is called the 1812 Overture. It's by a Russian composer named Tchaikovsky. And it's, it's very exciting. It's very dramatic. <laughs> and you're going to have to work your butts off. Class begins at 10 o'clock sharp, Mr. Stegman. I don't want you in this class. I don't care where you go or what you do. I'll mark you present and give you an incomplete, but I want you to take your friends and go back to wherever you came from. Ivory Joe from Kokomo. shop when you grow up. Now get out. Stegman doesn't play in other people's asshole band. Anyway. I love him. <laughs> they remind me that the world is still a rational place. There is nothing 
more rational than the so-called lower animal. Did you know that? Hey, you want a hug? Are you sure you won't join me? I hope this is the right stuff. You know, I got Hall Patrol. Yeah, what is wrong, Andrew? Are you afraid that I might sully the reputation of Lincoln High by my drinking on duty? Hmm. Uh, to the lower animals. They never kill each other without good reason. Hmm. I'll see you later, Jerry. There isn't one, it's tomorrow. Another one on the payroll, honey. <gasps> Take it easy, man. All right. Business is off. We got company now, Mr. Norris. Yeah, I don't mess with that shit, Mr. Norris. <clears throat> but neither does Jimmy. Okay, get lost. Just these two. You guys come with me. Hey, look, teacher, I don't know what you got in that bag, but uh, we never seen it before. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey. In case you haven't noticed, I run this school, man. It's going to be a big surprise to the principal. Let's go. So you've never seen this bag before? No. They were dealing. Five seconds earlier, I'd walked in on a sale. What? It's those little kids in your music class? I mean, they were the only other guys in the washroom. Maybe they brought it in there. That's a lie. A lot of kids use that washroom. I mean, that bag could have been lying in there for hours before Mr. Norris came in. Mr. Norris? Seen the way they behave. Selling drugs. 
is a criminal offense, Mr. Norris. We must be certain. Sir, Mr. Norris has been hassling us ever since he got here. It's bullshit. I'm the best pianist in this school. All I want to do is play in the orchestra, and he won't let me. That's not true. You guys got a problem. No, that's not true. Let me tell you what he did. Please, please. All I want to do is learn. All right. You boys get the benefit of the doubt this time. But from now on, when you go into a washroom, you go alone. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Back to your classes. Here you go. No expulsion, no suspension, nothing? That bag could have belonged to any student who used the bathroom. Do you really believe that? We want to catch the dealers, the vandals, the thieves, yes. But we have got to catch them in the act. Do you understand? I understand. But they're getting off scot-free. We don't have a watertight case. It's as simple as that. Wake up, you guys! Come on! to the flag of the United States of America. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Can I talk to you for a minute, please? You want to use this? Now, listen to me, Arthur. Uh, I think that Jimmy's dead because of that shit he bought in the washroom. Am I right? I don't know nothing. I think you do. I think you were there when he bought it, and I think you can tell the police who sold it to him. Just leave me alone. He was your friend, Arthur. Whoever sold him that stuff killed him. Tell me who he was. I just need his name. No name is going to bring him back. Andy. How about you and I uh, have a drink? Have a little chatty ratty with you. Hey, why don't you leave us alone? I kept my mouth shut. Come on, get in. Tales out of school, Artie Farty. That could give us a bad name. Hey, I didn't tell him anything. If I'm not home in ten minutes, I got four brothers who are gonna come. Oh, yeah, terrifying. Ooh. <laughs> 
Mm. Mm. Arthur. Mm. Terry, hasn't anybody ever tried to get that gang out of school? Oh, they have been put on suspension so many times, they ought to name a revolving door after them. And the amazing thing? I think Stegman's actually a brilliant kid. So is the Rocky de Sade. they're up to now. No, come on now, Andrew. Uh, the, the, cool it. School is out. Mm, I just want to see what's going on. It's uh, Corrigan and, and the new boy. Us. Andy, this is stupid. Who's out, teacher, teacher? You're not welcome here. Come on, you kids. You can come with me. Not in school now, teach. I can bust your ass. So do it! Come on, you can go home now. I got plans for you. Likewise. Oh, I'm pissing in my pants. <laughs> I don't know how many kids you sold to, Stegman, but I'm gonna find him. All I need is one kid who's got the guts to face you in open court and finger you for pushing it. Then I've got you. It ain't happened yet. It will. Up yours! Out of my way! Andy! Now, Andy! 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 Oh, Jesus. Believe it. You don't have some great idea. Hey, oh, come on. Let's get out of here. Did, did Arthur and Denise get away? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Terry, you're going to need stitches. we got to go to the no, hospital. No stitches. No hospital. That just means police and questions. Come on. Get out of here. I swear to God, I'm sorry. It was me they were after. I had no right to drag you. Oh, there. good God, Andrew. The, the, they don't care which one of us it is. They are at war, don't you know that? Yeah, and I don't want any part of it. So just get me home to Ellen. She'll patch me up. You sure you don't want to go to a hospital? I am positive I do not want to go to a hospital. Just get me home to Ellen. Andy? Yeah? How you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? Some punks from the school hit me. Why? I don't know. They, it was in their way. What difference does it make? Andy, what is going on in that place? Please tell me. A kid died today. Stupid. I was so busy trying to nail Stegman today, I never even noticed Jimmy was high. If I'd seen that, I could have saved him. You could have, you could have known, honey. How could you? I gave Jimmy a minute of silence today. One lousy minute for 16 years. Hey, and I want you to pack everything you need and go to your mother's until this is over. 
I don't want to go to my mother's. This is my home. I don't think it's safe for you here anymore. Not unless you've come. I can't. I can't leave my job. I am worth something as a teacher. There are kids at that school who need me. Look what they did tonight shows you that they don't want you there anymore, Andy. It's one gang. It's a small minority. But you've taught before and nothing like this has ever happened. Well, it's happened now and I gotta deal with it. I don't understand you, Andy. I just don't understand you anymore. How are you gonna go to your mother's at night? <sighs> you stay? simple as that. Any other witnesses uh, that you know? No. Well, anyway, we've got all this information and we'll make an investigation and we'll be back to you. What the hell is there to investigate? I told you who it was. It was Peter Stegman in this game. Stegman is under 18 years old. All the kids that you want to ID are under 18. Besides that, they can get 27 other kids out there to alibi for him in a minute. These kids know all the loopholes. You throw them in one door, they're out another within five minutes. I saw him with my own eyes. Well, so what? That's not good enough. Nowadays, you want to make a case against a juvenile, you got to be holding his hand while he's robbing you. Let me see the file. No, I, I can't. Just so I can I can't see give what I'm you up against. Why not? Because it's the law. Right of privacy for juveniles. You don't want them taking their mistakes with them up into their adult lives, do you? What about us at the school? We need your help. We're here to help. Okay, I'll read the records to you, but don't ask me for names, all right? Can't give you names. Look at this. Beatings, gang fights. And the girl backed out of being a witness in the last minute. 14-year-old girl. Drug pushing, prostitution rackets. These kids, Mr. Norris, are a permanent fixture here. And all we can do for now is... Just keep an eye out on him. You understand? Yeah. 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 Mr. Corgan? Hey. What's up? Uh, we got some problems in the lab. Mr. Morgenthau's waiting for you up there. Terry, I'll go with you. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Corrigan. Mm. Uh. I'm all right. Perfectly all right. Bastards. Bastards. Vandalism is nothing new in this school, Mr. Vandalism? This isn't vandalism. This is revenge. Look out. Get believe in all that bullshit that holds it together. And when it comes down to killing, well, teacher, teacher just got too much to lose. Otherwise, you'd have done me right. Like this. Or like this.
story, Mr. Norris. It's outrageous. His mother's gonna make a hell of a case out of this. She's already talking assault. Let their lawyer take the first shot. I don't want to show our hand too soon. Sir, the boy is psychotic. And I think he's very dangerous to everybody in the school. Will you... Will you at least put him on suspension? On suspension after you nearly fractured his skull? God damn it, he did it to himself. Why do you always take his word over mine? Oh, don't look at me. When I came in, he had the kid's blood all over his hands. I'm sorry, Mr. Norris, I don't know. If we're talking about suspension, Mr. Norris. It should be you. And if I suspend you, why, then I've got five grades without a music class. Half the graduating class going out of here with a substandard education, and you compound the problem by beating a student senseless? I told you that! Why? Why, Mr. Norris? There will be no disciplinary measures taken on hand by one of my teachers. Is that understood, Mr. Norris? Yes, sir. Where are you going? Oh, I'm still a teacher. I'm going to teach. Just a minute, Mr. Norris. If you're found guilty of this assault, whether you did it or not, you will never teach again. Do you find any credence in his story? You know, in that statement, kid, anything's possible. I made him stay, didn't I? Yeah, cooler. Petey, what is this? You have four, five, six more parking tickets. What are you doing, parking in a bus zone? They ain't got no parking at that stinking school. That school is the only one that would accept you, you know that. What do you think? You like the sweater? Yeah, you look great, Ma. Get the door, will you, honey? Get the door, Pete. Hey, come on, Ma. Where's that bloody security in this building? Yes, who is it? Mrs. Stegman, can I talk to you for a minute, please? I don't want to buy anything. I'm very busy. No, Mrs. Stegman, I'm Peter's music teacher. It's very important that I talk to you. Don't let him in, Ma. Please don't let him in, Mommy. Haven't you done enough damage? You want to talk? You talk to my attorney. Mrs. Stegman, if you just let me come in for a minute, I'm sure we can settle that. There are more important things to deal with. No, mister, I'm not letting you off that easy. Mrs. Stegman, there are things that you don't know about your son. Now, if we don't talk, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, you listen to me, buster. Now, you get your ass away from my door, I'll have the police up here so fast it'll make your head spin. What do you think I am? Some sort of a, a bubble-headed housewife you can push around like those kids? Get him out of here, Mom. Do you have any idea what I'm going to have to spend on a therapist to get him out of this? He doesn't need a therapist. What do you think you are, some sort of a, a god almighty? He's just a boy. If he comes near me again, he's going to need a lot more than a therapist. Uh-huh. You're making threats now. You call yourself a teacher? Please, please, we've got to talk rationally. There are other kids involved. Now listen, Petey is an exceptional child. I only wish his father were alive to see him. You couldn't possibly understand his kind of genius. None of you can. Mrs. Stegman, you don't know what the hell he's been doing. I'm trying to help you. I don't need your kind of help. You talk to me, damn it! <sighs> don't worry, honey. He won't bother you again. Go on back in and watch TV. See, I, uh, I just want to make sure he's gone, Mom. Learn your lessons. Mommy didn't like you very much. Lay off me! Lay off me, Stegman, you hear me? Shut up, you son of a bitch. If you ever come here again, and I'll kill you. I swear it. You're mine, asshole. All mine. I am the future. You hear that? I am the future.
say I did. Can you prove it? Well, kick your ass. Careful, I'll charge you with assault. You got a problem, Mr. Norris? No. Stegman was just leaving. Mr. Norris, we're not. Excuse me, Arthur, this is Officer Stowiski. Arthur, how are you? Look, a little fucker off is squealing to the junior. Let's go. You better not step out of line. I personally don't think Vinny can do it. Not at all. He's good, man. It's no problem. The guy's a wimp. Hey, I'm a wimp, right? That's right. Hey, you can do it? Yes, I could. Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right, then, Vinny. Do it. Ah, the version, huh? Okay, Vinny. A little magic trick. Keep it down. Mr. Norris, and we'll let you know his condition. Okay, thank you. You gonna pick up the gang? Mr. Norris, we can't find anybody who actually saw it happen. Stickman's gang was there. You know they did it. Sure. But how do we prove they did it? Look, somebody's gotta stop this insanity. Now, if you don't do it, I will. Hey, I don't... Easy. Easy, Mr. Norris. You shouldn't be talking. Not with you already facing an assault charge. Why not drive you home? I always walked home with her. Who cares? It calms me. It insulates me. If we can get through this year, then Andy's going to have a permanent teaching position. Terry talks about retiring. That's rubbish. He won't. I'm such a failure. You're one of the best teachers in that old school. To tell you the truth, Andy, 
I don't think I can teach anymore. I can't get through. I always had this dream that I could make kids read every book they could lay their hands on. Oh, if I could only be an inspiration to one goddamn growing mind. Sometimes I think I'd do anything, just anything, if I knew that I could leave one person behind who'd heard me. I... Oh, yeah, goodbye, Mr. Chips. We've got what? We've got a week. It's a senior assembly, right? People who have been invited from the symphony competition board. Well, parents and students. I just, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you guys are terrific. You mean we're good? No, I didn't say you were good. I said you were terrific. chromosomes in any species, but it is only with the addition of the Y that we get the male. Ah! Sit down. Please. Okay. Back off, back Excuse off. me. Excuse me, please. Let me talk. No, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm calling the police to handle this. Let no, me. let Mr. Norris talk to him first. Yeah, our student in there. Yes, and that is Terry Corrigan. That's not a maniac killer. Let me have a chance. Come on, he's my friend. I'll back him up. I'm teaching. Can't you see that? You, uh, tell us the factor for the female of the species. Stand up when the teacher talks to you. Wait a minute, no. Jerry. Andrew. Come into your class and tell you how to teach now. And what is the answer, please? Oh, well, you simply cannot afford to fail this class. Now, what is the answer? <gasps> what is the answer? Uh, please. Uh, uh, why? Why? <laughs> you see how simple it is? <laughs> oh, he has never. Never answer the question in this class. I'm finally teaching them. Oh, tell me now. How many chambers are there in the human heart? Come on. Come on. Four. I, th I think four. It's wonderful. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's just a pleasure. Oh, such a tremendous pleasure. I th Mr. Stegman. What is an amphibian? You should know. We had such a wonderful display hanging on our wall. You don't know. It's too bad. 
you. Do not pass. We're going to have to work with him, Jerry. Oh, but Andrew, it would take such an awful lot of work. And this would be so much easier. <laughs> They kill my animals. <laughs> Stegman did that. They are not all like him. Oh, oh yes, Stegman. <laughs> all right, all right. Get him, get him down to the office. Wait, wait. Let me take him home. That's a pass, Mr. Norris. He needs mental help. And we've got to notify the police. I'm going to have parents all over me in an hour's time. How come I can't get you off the dime when a student does something wrong? Or when a teacher screws up, you want to call in the police? A teacher is required to be responsible. Come on, Jerry. Let me take you home, okay? Huh? I'm fine. Fine. Really? Safer until the child's born. Good. I think you should have gone long ago. What about you? Are, are you are you ready now to give up that obsession you have with the kids at Lincoln High? What obsession, Diane? I'm a teacher. I'm just trying to do my job. Terry couldn't handle that. I can. Okay. Why don't you just stay there then and just slug it out with those psychotic little misfits? And who knows? Maybe you'll wind up like Terry. And what should I tell our child? That their father died in the line of duty? That he was a teacher? What do you want to tell him? That I was a coward? That I ran away as soon as I had a problem? I'm sorry. Stay for the concert. And then go to your mother's okay? I'll visit you on the weekend.
Oh, Mr. Norris, I'm glad you're here. How is he? He's better. He's talking, but not to me. You won't say your knife to me. Okay, maybe you'll tell me. As good as I look. Who's replacing me in the orchestra? Zuckerman. Zuckerman. He's a turkey compared to me. You told Stowiski that you didn't see who knifed you. Is that the truth? What's the use? And you did see. But Mr. Norris. You know that if I say you got me, as soon as I get out, they're gonna get me again? Arthur, don't you want them to get those kids? I mean, the same thing could happen to somebody else. Look, I'm not gonna force you into anything, but I just want you to think about I think that the only rights we have are the ones we're willing to fight for. You owe it to your friends at school to stand up for yourself. Okay. It was Vinny. Vinny Catino. I don't know that. And you don't know that either. Then he isn't talking yet. They're gonna go right after Arthur. What are you gonna do, wait until he's dead? Don't worry about Arthur. We'll protect Arthur, but who's gonna protect you? You better look after your own ass if you wanna be any good to the rest of those kids. You got that concert tomorrow night, don't you? Yeah. Mr. Norris. What? Mind your own business, huh? What do you think? I don't think anyone will mistake you for Leonard Bernstein. But you look splendid. Splendid? Sexy. Okay, that's what I care about. The concert starts by me. Try to get there a little bit.
Stay awake now, bitch, and never gonna wake up again. Fallon! 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 Whoopi! Impressed, Mr. Norris. We haven't had a turnout like this since the night one of the little bastards set fire to the West Wing. There are a lot of good kids here. I suppose. It's just that the bad ones take so much of our attention. Good luck tonight. Thank you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, oh, camel camel flap. Flap. You. oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come on, honey. I just have a little time. Will you yeah. see me? Oh, I'm sure I'm not better. Oh, <laughs> 
Andy, Andy, get back! Go back! Don't hurt us, Edmund, please. Say pretty, please. Let it go, you can have me. I've already got you! And we do apologize for the delay, but I, I would ask you to remain in your seats. The young people have rehearsed. I think that I can fill in for Mr. Norris. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a surprise. Janine Bowden is going to conduct for us. Come on, let's let's sit down and, and give her a real hand of support. Check out the lap. If you see the prick, yell.
You're dead, Mr. Morris. Goodbye, Mr. Morris. Goodbye, Mr. Morris. Norris's heart. Do it! Come on! Ours now, Norris. Where the hell is she? And and it was so easy. <laughs>
late, teacher, teacher. <laughs> Too late. Oh, we're staying. Let it go. Oh, no, no. Yeah! It's just the beginning. <laughs> We all go together. <laughs> Hey! 